Hi guys, I am Isa and today we're going to learn how to make a website using this program called Blue Griffin. So basically it's a visual HTML editor. You can edit it visually and you can also change the code directly. So let's press this button to create a new project. We'll save this as um sing. Right, so we can just write the normal text. And then we can like, now we have this print preview so we can see how it's gonna, you know, like, look like. And if we turn on the door view, then we're gonna be able to see the normal code. We'll get to that later. This WYSIWYG thing means what you see is what you get. Like, uh, the website here is gonna be exactly the same as the real website. And the source is, you know, the source the HTML code. Alright, so this thing it just allows you to change what type of text. So here, uh, this is body text and paragraph for the same things. This is heading one, website. This heading two. This heading three, four, five, six. Yeah, you probably already know this. So these are modifiers. This is used to add any. Uh, elements, most elements. This thing is used to add emphasis or italics. This thing is used to make it bold. This thing, er, uh, well, it, it does that, but don't really ask why. So, this thing it changes the color of the text. Let's try to make it blue. This is the background color. Herb. Okay, yeah. These two are basically the same things. This is the same as this. This is used to underline the text. This uses to turn it into a list. This turns it into a numbered list. This thing. It aligns the text. Um. Yeah. So this thing. It turns it into. Or it's basically a quote. So yeah. So let's add some some stuff. Um, if I put a button here, as you can see, the button looks pretty buttony, like button should be. Change the background color to to, to blue. Oops, wrong color. We're gonna try to make a real website using this visual editor. Alright, so just erase everything. The website. This is gonna be the heading. And I'm not gonna do any of this. I'm gonna change the fonts. Gonna make it bold. Put to make it uh bigger. Um let me just link the CSS file. So link ref is equal to style dot CSS type is equal to CSS. Alright, so I'm gonna, gonna go to the document, save this as. Oh, wait. I'm gonna save this as sing.css. This is a CSS file. We won't be able to do any of that stuff that we usually be able to do. Okay, whatever. Let's just use this style here. Alright, so I'm gonna create a new class. Because yeah, I don't really have classes here. But dot heading. Let's say padding uh, 20px. So this is our website. I'm going to put it in the center. I'm going to give it the class of heading. Right, I'm going to change its background as well. I'm going to make it to be like uh, blue. Also, going to turn it into a heading. 
and make its font color white. Oh yeah. I was just gonna write body margin zero padding zero. Um so yeah. So let's just add uh, something else here. Change the text back to normal. Okay, I need to I need to make this new text outside of the websites. Let's just put a P over here. Alright, so the new. And let's add a bit of, you know, margin. Yeah, let's also increase its font size. Let's just add another class over here. Dot the new. Padding. 5px. And. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. So we're going to change that class to uh, the new. That looks a little bit better. Let's make it to a heading 2. So yeah, basically that's just how it looks. Let's also add a button, because why not? Uh, let's make a button that does stuff. So I'm going to change this to go over here to button. Press me. Let's change this to go over here to button. Press me. This is going to, this over here is going to say, it's just going to say dash. Could give us the idea of CLS. So, <clears throat> so yeah, we're going to do some JavaScript here. Let's say script. Let's btn be equal to um documents dot get element by id read CLS do I call it that so let's say btn dot add event listener click we we'll use an arrow function Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say let's. Er, oh wait, the button has added. The button needs to have an idea as well. BTN. BTN. Let's txt. Document dot get element by id. Txt. So txt dot. Uh, value. Oh yeah, TSC dot inner text is equal to rake. If we press this button, um, so let me uh, open the website over here on Firefox. So if I open it in Firefox, I press the press B button. It has break like it's supposed to. So this thing, uh, I don't think it really supports it. But yeah, that's going to be it today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe. So bye.